What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more content for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So guys, in previous videos, I used an Obama Snow and Cantonian Articuno team, and I also used a Steely Spirit Berserker team with Scissor. In today's video, we're combining both of those concepts, putting them both on one team. We got ourselves an Articuno team alongside with Steely Spirit Berserker. We got Shen Pao and Heatran, really cool team right here. We're going to be showcasing both combos in one video. Hopefully it rocks out, and hopefully grab ourselves a winning record. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started here with today's team preview and talk about any Pokemon, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, my boy Andy VGC. Thank you so much for making this team and showcasing it on your channel. If you guys want to see the Poke Pace, see extra content on this team, make sure to head over to his channel. Link is down in the description below. But Scissor is going to be the first Pokemon for today's team preview. Absolutely love this Pokemon, especially paired up with Shen. Pal. It's got Bullet Punch, it's got U-Turn, Theft, and Faint with the Choice Band as its item. We got Obama Snow in our second slot, and this Pokemon not only rocks out with Articuno, it is pretty good on its own. It's really good for weather control and setting up a Roar Bell. It's got Snow Warning with the Light Clay, a Roar Bell, Grass Knot, Blizzard, and Ice Shard for its four moves. In our third slot, we got Shen Pao. Can't go wrong with Shen Pao in Regulation D, one of the strongest Pokemons in the meta at the moment. It's got Focus Sash, Swords of Ruin with Protect, Sucker Punch, Ice Spinner, and Psychic Fangs. You don't really get to see that move on a Shen Pao, so it's going to be pretty cool to use it. In our fourth slot, we got Obama Snow's best friend. It is going to be Articuno with the Snow Cloak and the Bright Powder to, to be able to dodge the moves. It's got Blizzard, Terror Blast with the Water Terror Type, Freeze Dry, and Roost for its other two moves. In our fifth slot, we got Heatran. Heatran is just a solid Pokemon for any team. You really can't go wrong with it due to its amazing typing and its great moveset. It's got Flash Fire as its ability with Choice Specs as its item. Flash Cannon, Heat Wave, Earth Power, and Terra Blast are its four moves. The final Pokemon is going to be Scissor's best friend. It is going to be Steely Spirit Berserker. When this thing's out on the field, Steel moves do 50% more damage, which is absolutely amazing. It's got Chompleberry with Protect, Fake Out, Iron Head, and Help in Hand. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Not the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Scissor and Articuno team. We're hopping into our first match, and it's no surprise. We're going up against Meta Pokemon. Always will be, always have been. We're going up against Fluttermane alongside with Tonatus, and then they're also rocking out with Urshifu, Amoongus, Baxcalibur, and Regilecki. So a very fast paced team. They got Tailwind Setters, they got Pokemon that can just outspeed me normally. So I feel as maybe Scizor is going to be really, really good. Same thing with Obama Snow and Articuna, because the, uh, the Roar Bell could make us so bulky we can actually out bulk shots and get some big time turns off. So I kind of want to go in with Snow right now, right? Do I go in with Snow? Because they could have Rain Dance on that Tornado. So maybe I just lead Urshifu and Berserker. Or not Urshifu, <laughs> I meant uh, Scissor and Berserker. Or I can go Scissor Shen Pao, which I actually really, really like, alongside with the Snow Squad. I think that's my best bet. I really do. So I'm going to lock that in. I'm going to lock it down. Let's just grab ourselves a win here in match number one. Get things started off hot. Jeans community? I would love it. But yeah, Scissor and Shen Pao always been top tier. Just hit that bullet punch, you got technician boost, you got a bunch of different things going on there. Especially up against Fluttermane, it's always solid. Always solid. But uh, if you guys want to support me a little bit extra, above and beyond becoming a subscriber, make sure you guys become a member to the channel. There should be a join button down below if it's not there. There should be a link down in the description below to become a member. You get a bunch of cool channel perks, and it supports me a lot. So, huge shout out to all my uh, members. But uh, Regilecki and Tornas are going to come out here for the lead, and I'm thinking of just bullet punching maybe like Regilecki or... Hmm. Hmm. I could actually bull punch and sucker punch it, which I, I'm leaning towards, right? First turn priority? I say we do it. I say we go first turn priority after this thing. I doubt it protects. And we'll try to KO it. But yeah, big time damage there. And then he gets off the tailwind, and then bull punch is going to fly. Cool. Love it. Love it. So big time KO on the Regilecki. That's the only problem with Regilecki, especially in this format, is it's such a lightweight, right? First turn priority is so big, it's really the only thing that can outspeed it, and it's such a lightweight, it dies so easily. So that's why it's not as good as it was in, then in Sword and Shield. The Sword and Shield was phenomenal. That Pokemon was insane in Sword and Shield. But Amoongus comes out, and hmm. I think it might Terrasilize. I'm not even going to lie. I think it might Terrasilize. It could Terrasilize. I think I still go into, maybe I go into a Psychic Fangs instead of an Ice Spinner. Can really throw for a opponent. <laughs> it could, but uh, I'm gonna stick with Ice Spinner just in case he doesn't terrestrialize. So I'm gonna go Bullet Punch. I'm gonna go uh, Ice Spinner here, and he decides to stay normal. That's totally fine by me. 
We'll get rid of the Moogus this turn. I wonder what Tornado is going to do. This match is looking really good in our hands right now. It's looking lovely. It is Rocky Helmet, which kind of hurts his soul. And he's going to go for a Heat Wave. Who's dodging it? Scissor dodging it. That's a big time that Scissor dodging right there. Scissor with a big time dodge. But Scissor would die to that all day. I'm actually surprised that that thing has Heat Wave. So Amoogus drops out. We're off to a nice little start here. Nice and lovely little start. And uh, we can bullet punch still. Gen Pal's thriving. Urshfu's going to come out here. This is where he can knock with Gen Pal. Okay. So we can hit through protection, we can do all that good stuff, and I feel as from here we just start bullet punching that. Right, my back end Pokemon should be able to do a lot. So I'm thinking of just going for a nice little bullet punch here. And do I Terrasize here as well? No. We'll go for this, and I mean, we'll go for a Sucker Punch too. We'll try to double down to an Ash just to get rid of somebody, but he's going to Terrasize Urshfu. He might just Aqua Jet my Shen Pao. If I was him, I would do that, and this match is not even close to being over. Considering they got speed, they got Earth through, can hit like an absolute truck. And uh, they could definitely claim weather from it, right? Weather could be a little bit of an issue. So we'll see. He ends up okay. That's fine by me. Not Aqua Jetting me, which we love. So now I'm able to bullet punch and sucker punch down Tornadus and get rid of that. So now that really just put us in the front row. So I thought he was going to Aqua Jet and then he be able to heat wave me after he took the bullet punch. So I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day. So Certain Strikes is now going to fly here. That's going to KO my Scissor. And I'm just going to bring out Articuno, right? Yeah, I'll bring out Articuno. And then I can hard swap uh, Shen Pao if need be. And we'll go from there and just waste out the Tailwind turns. Because Shen Pao could still get a little bit of value out if it comes in the back end. So I do think that's my best bet. Let's say I swap him now and Tailwind ends. Then Sucker Punch can outspeed his Aqua Jet. And we can really get after it. So I'm here with Articuno. I'm going to drop a nice level freeze dry, and I'm just going to hard swap right into the bomb of snow. Get that snow rolling. Everything's perfect. Plus, you get a big time defensive boost with ice types in the snow. They really did buff snow in this game, so I'm loving Articuno. So out comes the snow. He did not cancel the batch. He did not cancel my. He goes for an Aqua Jet to try to take out my Shen Pao slot, and I'm just soaking it all day. Now Freeze Dry comes out here, and that pretty much wraps up match number one. Match number one is going to go to your boy all day. We'll pop another uh, Freeze Dry. I think our opponent is going to cancel the match. And on top of that, we'll throw a Grass Knot. So match number one was canceled. 1-0. Hot start for your boy. Let's hop through a second. Let's go back to back. I've been playing so good lately. That last match, we just dominated. Great lead for us calling out that Scissor and Shen Pao. And then we had Articuno and Obama still coming to back and clean up the little mess that Scissor left to handle. But there it was. 1-0 to get things started. We're hopping into our second match. And this is a tough little combo to deal with. Chiyu, Fluttermane, and Chiyu, and Iron Bundle. Always tough. They also have Scissor just like us. Pretty cool. Always love to see a good old Scissor. Then they got Reggie Draco alongside with Amoonga. So who do I think they're going to lead? Potentially Iron Bundle. I feel like Bundle is just a solid call all around and I might just go into my weather squad. They have no way of changing the weather. It does good up against a few of these guys. So I do really like it. They might lead Scissor with it, but from there, I feel as we're fine. I feel like we can set up an Aurora Veil. We can really just start getting after it. So I'm going to go into them too, get the weather going. And then in the back end, I do like Scissor and I think I like Shen Pao. So same team that we used last time, just different order, right? Yeah, it's, def it's definitely in our best interest to do that. I love it. I love it a lot. I like it a lot. Cool. So we're 1-0. Second match on its way. Yeah, I've just been having a blast recording for you guys. Seriously, thank you guys so much for uh, everybody who pops in here, tunes into the videos. It really does go a long way. If you guys made it this far in the video into the second battle, give me a hashtag second battle game. Or a ha and you know what? Hashtag real ones. Give me in, in the comment section down below because you guys are real ones. Thank you guys so much for showing out. It really does go a long way. I absolutely love recording videos for you guys. So, uh, again, thank you. But uh, they go Flutter Main. They end up going with Iron Bundle as well. So Aurora Veil, we definitely want to set up a lot. Um, I could Terrasilize if I want to. Do I want to Terrasilize? So not really, right? I think I'm just going to rip a Blizzard. I kind of wish I had Protect Me. Well, I could Roost and set up Aurora Veil. Because they are going to hit me. So you know what? I'm going to Roost and set up an Aurora Veil. That is going to be my play, because they are going to hit me here. Thunderbolt is going to come out here, which we dodged. That's kind of hilarious. Good old Snow Cloak. And Icy Wind's going to come out here. So we didn't even have to boost. I should have just gotten off some damage. We're going to get hit by a nice, lovely Thunderbolt. That's what I was expecting. Something to hit me, whether it be 
Shadow Ball or Dazzling Gleam. This time it turned out to be Thunderbolt, and then us just roosting back to full HP and then getting off the board. That was my plan, but we could have just gotten off a free turn. But they slow us down. They were already faster than us. And from here, I'm just gonna drop a Blizzard. And you know what else I'm gonna do? I was gonna say drop another Blizzard, but I'm going for a Grass now, right into the uh, bundle slot. Nice, lovely bundle. So they can go for another Thunderbolt if they want to. I got a Roar Bell popping out here now. I can always Roost next turn if I want to. I got some first turn priority. We have a lot of different options going on here. But yo, Articuno looks so good in this game. Like, just, just its texture, its graphical textures look insane. Like, it looks so good. Power Jump's gonna fly out here, and this thing's dodging another move. It's going crazy. He's going crazy. I see he's dodged three moves out of four. Articuno is killing it. He's killing it right now. Go ahead, Articuno. Stay hot. Bright Powder and Snow Cloak. Give me some freezes up in here. Give me some freezes. We would like some freezes. No freezes, but Grass Knot's gonna fly here. Chuck up some nice damage onto the bundle. And from here, I'm just gonna roost. I'm just gonna roost and I'm just gonna Grass Knot. I'm just gonna keep my Articuna alive as much as possible. So it ends up protecting the Iron Bundle. I think Fluttermane's gonna still try to attack uh, Articuno. Yep, that's a correct statement here. And we're healing up. Cool. So nice little roost. You make a nice little read there. Nice little read. Nice lovely read. And we're back up to pretty much full HP. Which we love. We adore that. Uh, okay. So from here, I could potentially see a swap. I might just Terra. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Terrasalize and just Blizzard. Just in case he wants to swap. You know, I'm gonna double down with the Blizzards because two Blizzards should be able to take out Iron Bundle. It really should. So he ends up. Did I not Terra? It's okay. It would have been super effective anyway, but that's fine. We actually saved Terra. <coughs> it actually works out good. I didn't Terra. I misclicked the Terra. And it, and, it, and it worked out good. I'm actually thankful we didn't Terra there. I thought he was maybe going for another Power Gem, but Double Blizzard gets rid of Iron Bundle. I can now Ice Shard to finish off Fluttermane. I love where we're sitting. And I might just Roost next turn. Because I think Chiyu's going to come out here, and now I would like the Terra. <laughs> so everything's working out perfectly. And yep, Chiyu is coming out here. We like it. We love it. And instead of Roosting, I am just going to Terrasalize instead of Terra Blast Chiyu's way. Because just in case Fluttermane does protect, I don't want to uh, have my Abomasnow die out here. And get no value out of the turn. So, he's gonna end up to Rasslize. And probably the Chi is gonna come out here. Yep, and don't tell me you're going grass. No, you're going straight fire. Okay. So we're staying fire type. That's fine by me. Fluttermane, hopefully, don't protect so I can Ice Shard and finish you off. Because this combo is working so strong right now. And I'm Terrasalizing as well. Getting watery with it. We're getting real watery. Plus, we still have some um, insanely strong Pokemon in the back. And we got Scissor for first turn priorities. And then we have Shen Pao for. for Big time damage and first turn priority, so I like where we're sitting in this position. Articuno definitely clutching up. Ice Shard comes out of here. Flutter means a goner. Now we get off a nice big time Terror Blast. See, like Articuno doesn't do like crazy damage, but it outbulks so many Pokemon and it dodges moves like crazy. Like it just dodged that Heat Wave. What is that? His third move it dodged? Fourth move? It dodged a Power Gem? That's his fourth move it dodged. It dodged a Power Gem, a Thunderbolt, an Icy Wind, and now a Heat Wave. It's just absurd. It's just absurd. So out comes Terra Blast. Bang, bang, bang. Doing some big time damage. And uh, I'll just go Shen Pao here, right? Let's just go Shen Pao. And just Sucker Punch. Yeah. That's my play. Did the snow end? Oh, the snow ended. Not the snow. Not our lovely little snow. Not their snow. I really want the snow. So now out comes Reggie Draco. And I'm just going to go for a free shot. We still have... Uh, Aurora Bell turns, which are huge. Like, Aurora Bell just makes everything so much better, too. So I'm gonna go into a Sucker Punch. I am gonna go into a Freeze Dry here, and that should be game. That should be game. And the reason I went into a Sucker Punch is this thing could have been Chewy Scarf faster than me. So I might as well uh, make sure that we're outspeeding and KOing it. The Red Jericho is the last one. He is gonna go for Dragon Energy, and Articuno still dodging. No snow on the field. It's dodging with just its bright powder. Five moves? This thing is absurd. It is absurd. But there's some big time damage out here. I'm going to drop another freeze dry. I am just going to go into an ice spinner because I know we outspeed this thing. And that's going to be game. Battles canceled 2-0. Oh. That's how it's done.
final match is on its way. Your boy staying hot. We're 2 0, hopping into our third and final battle, looking for a perfect record. And I showcase pretty much everything there is on this team, except for the Heatran and then the Scissor and Berserker combos. Maybe I just bring them all in here. We lose this match, we lose it. It's no big deal. So. I could actually just go weather. Weather would be great again. Articuno and Obama Snow. But again, I don't really care about this third and final match. As soon as we already grab ourselves some winning records. So I'm going to go Berserker. I'm going to go Scissor right off the rip. If he intimidates me, he intimidates me. It's whatever. And then from here, we're going to go Heatran and Shen Pao. Have a little fun with this one. Have a little fun with this one. But they have Zapdos and they have Urshifu. But no Rain. Rain would be beautiful on this team. But nobody just said it. Like, I would switch this team out instead of Landorus. Or Tornadus and just get some more support going. Because they have plenty of attacking Pokemon. They have plenty of attacking Pokemon. But I get Intimidate's pretty good. But I just feel like they need rain with the squad. Zapdos really thrives in the rain. It's so good in the rain. Thunder's hit 100% of the time. It also has Hurricane. Two heavy hitting stat moves that hit 100% of the time in the rain. It's just a beautiful Pokemon within the rain. So, we could honestly just go snow squad like that would actually be our best bet considering it's really really good up against uh, a lot of these pokemon but i mean we used it plenty of times before and in that last match i feel like we uh we used up all of our snow luck articuno dodged five moves and which is absurdly strong in that matchup plus we had a roar bell out there that combo is so so good but um uh, i wonder who they're gonna lead i feel it's like a team like this like a meta team has so many different options And it is going to be bum ba da bum. E Tran Rillaboom. Alright, so I'm actually my Berserker should be faster than Rillaboom, so I can actually fake it out here turn one. And I don't really know what I'm gonna do up against Heat Train, right? I think I'm just gonna U-turn pivot. You should be faster, Scissor, right? Correct statement? Scissor, you should be faster than Heat Train. How fast am I Heat Train? You're not gonna be faster than Heat Train. We're gonna swap it to Flash Fire Heat Train with that. Oh no, I almost gave up on the match. And you know what, honestly? We're gonna still go for the U-turn here, and we'll fake out the Heatran instead. Because maybe he ends up just faking out the Berserker, and we just fake out him. That should be cool. And no, you just outspeed me. That's really rough. That's that's really rough right there. That is really rough. I gotta see his Berserker speed. I probably should have checked it out beforehand because of the last Berserker Steely Spirit team I used. The Berserker was maxed out on speed so it can actually outspeed the booms. And yeah, this one is not. <laughs> so that is that is really troublesome. That is that that one hurts. That one hurts. So we're looking <laughs> to to get back here. So yo, everybody everybody makes mistakes when playing VGC. Even even your boy. Even your boy. That one hurts. That one definitely hurts. That one definitely hurts. I should have checked the stats. But from here, I am going to rip an Earth Power. I am going to Terrasalize this thing into Ghost, and I'm just going to Ice Spinner down. It's not. <laughs> that one hurts so bad, man. <laughs> That's terrible. That is so bad. Sitting there thinking of a bunch of plays. I was going to swap my Scissor. Everything would have been beautiful. But yeah, I could have sworn. I was like, yeah, this thing's outspeeding. And then I check its stats. I'm like, of course. Of course. So, we we dug ourselves a hole. I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position, right? I mean, we're not in a terrible position, but I need to get rid of Heatran. Really, the only Pokemon I have to take out Heatran is going to be my Heatran. So, I'm going to start ripping with him. So, we're kind of hoping it's not going to Terrasalize in the grass. I mean, if it does, we can Ice Spinner it, but not too worried. He's going to Terrasalize as well, and I think this is going to be Robin over Heatran, right? Yeah, it is going to be real boom. He's going to go into what typing. I just love the little fire. The fire tower comes out here. We do have focus ash, but... Hmm. Let's see how this one plays. He ends up just protect. So protect comes out here. We ice spinner. Definitely going for like a terror blast. Actually, you might not even have terror blast. I do take out the grass terrain, which is big time for us. And he's just going to go for a U-turn, which we soak. So he turns out here, and from here, who are you going to go into? Yeah, this one's, this is just not good. This is just extra content for you guys. We know we're losing this one all day, but I can't get swept. I simply cannot get swept. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, I have two rules on the channel that I have not broke yet. Rule number one is we do not go 0-3 in the video. 
I've never went 0-3 in the video. Went 1-2, went 2-1, went 2-0, went 3-0, and 0, but never 0-3. My second rule on the channel is we cannot get swept, and I never got swept in a battle on recording. Obviously, I got swept before. It happens sometimes, but I never got swept on recording. So from here, I am to respect. I have to stick with this, and I'm just going to throw Earth Power into that. And I could go Psychic Fangs, but you know what? I'm going to throw. I'm going to throw Psychic Fangs in this slot. Nice, lovely Psychic Fangs. So he ends up withdrawing Heatran, and he's going to go into his final Pokemon, which is probably Zapdos, right? It's probably Zapdos, right? Of course. Of course, Zapdos. Psychic Fangs going to fly through here, and they're coming in clutch here. Super effective shot. He's going to go for certain Strikes, and he's going to take me out. Listen, I know we'll lose this matchup, but I'm not getting swept. Let you guys know this right now. We simply are not getting swept. So he can Aqua Jet me. Aqua Jet will not KO me. <laughs> I gotta make sure you don't get swept. And I'll go into this. I'll stick with my second fangs. Do not detect here. Do not sweep me. Please. My YouTube channel depends on this. <laughs> on this move landing. Hopefully he just goes Surge of Strikes into like a Thunder or something. We can just get rid of him. Goes for an Aqua Jet. We should be able to soak that. Do. Psychic Fangs come down here. Awesome. Like I said, we don't get swept on the channel. That last match, that was just terrible. Bad plays on my part. Should have checked the Berserker's speed. It would have been a different match if I knew that. But uh, we played it a bit weird. But we don't get swept there. We go 2 and 1. We get to showcase this team really, really well. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 2 and 1 for today's video. Third and final match. We don't even we don't even talk about that one. Rough little plays from us, but hey, first two matches were awesome, and we got to showcase this team really well. I absolutely loved it. You have the Bomba Snow and Articuno side of it, and then you got Scissor and Berserker, or Scissor Shen Pao, like we used in today's video. And then Heatran just being a nice, well-rounded Pokemon to gel this team fully together. I definitely feel as this team could definitely be used at the high ranks, like we just did ourselves. We always using this one in the Masters here, and we played really, really well with it. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to leave a like on it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread sponsor every day. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.